All right, so we're doing this review of this pet, pet, pet collar. Uh, you press and hold it. This blinks twice red for off. And if you press and hold it again, it flashes green. And it'll continue to flash green while it's on. There you go. So it comes with the short studs, the long studs. Um, there's a handheld remote. Um, you can also change, set this between one and two, two separate collars. So you're using the one remote for two dogs. And then the other button in there is the lock, it locks it out from accidentally hitting it. Um, it's kind of a, I mean, I don't know, I guess it fits your hand pretty good, but it's reminiscent of like a bottle of lotion or something. It's round at the bottom. <coughs> So, right now I'm going to set the color 1. shows the battery level on here. I haven't taken the protective cover off yet, but um, you have the shock option. This will just do a tone initially. Then this is a uh, vibrate. Um, I don't know if you can hear it, but this will vibrate with no tone. And then the last option is the uh, correction shock. So... Then you have the intensity level here that you can raise like up or down. And the number is in the middle there. So you can see that's the intensity level. Okay, these don't flicker like this, it's just the LED in the in the camera. So yeah, that's the remote. I mean it seems lightweight, durable, everything's like right there and uh, so you know you won't hit this by accident and then uh, then you have the collar uh, the collar is where it is lacking in my opinion um, here's your traditional pet safe collar you set it to your dog's neck size so the contacts make contact and then you know it's as simple as just opening up and wrapping it around and snapping it shut you're done um, this style this model manufacturer this is like a guy's belt. It's basically is what it is. So there's no fixed point on this. So every time you're gonna put it on him, you gotta wrap it around his neck. And this is Duke here. He's gonna be my test subject today. And uh, so basically, we have to wrap it around. Let me put it on him and show you. Okay, so we're gonna put it on. You gotta wrap it around his neck. Come around here and get a shot of it. You gotta go through here. And you have to cinch this down, making sure that it's making contact with his neck. And then there is no little lever around here to lock it in place like a normal belt. It's just a stud right there. You can see the stud. And this just pushes down on that. And then, once you have that attached, now you have to poke this hole extra piece through the little hole down here so you're doing all this with two hands and then he's a king shepherd so he's pretty big but he's got a uh, you know with his size of neck I still have this much left over so I don't know why they designed this like this but the only way I can think of would be having to just cut this with a pair of scissors and trim it I don't know if that was designed anyway I didn't see that in the directions <clears throat> but then the other bad thing is that you have to be able to mark or know this spot every time to get it into the right same same position. So that's kind of a drawback for me. Um, I really don't like this whole big belt that you got to take off when they would have designed it with a standard nylon collar. I just put it around. It's already set to his length, and then I give it a little snap. And that's it, we're done. So, yeah. Otherwise, operation wise, works great. And uh, thank you, Duke, for participating. So, uh, get it or forget it. Um, if you think you can deal with this um, belt, I would say get it. But in my opinion, on this one, everything functions properly does the shocking, the vibrate, the tone. Um, it's just this belt design I can't get over past, so I gotta say, forget it, and I'm gonna find one that has the nylon 
snap together. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.